Huh. Justice? In order to protect the justice of this world. I do not sully my hands to satisfy personal grudges. Oh my There is only one reason I kill. She was the serial killer. For the sake of protecting justice. You, what are you saying? Justice is what makes humans human. It's a virtue that human beings should be proud of. Justice is the eternal sun and the enduring moon, the protective father and the smiling mother. Uh, hello! Earth to Pecco! If justice ever disappeared from this world, the world would immediately freeze and people's smiles would vanish. I will not allow that. It's, it's fine. Just stop it. Justice must always be there to guide us, to shine bright above our heads. I'm telling you to stop it! So I must fight. I must continue to fight to protect justice. This is... could she be? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! Now then, let's execute justice! What? What the fuck? I have a similar thought process. Hugo, what are you doing? I am sparkling justice. In the name of sparkling, shining justice, I have come to deliver justice. Oh my god. What's going on? What's this? Chill. Uh, 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 Peko finally snapped. Everyone, please be careful. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who claims to be an ally of justice. Clad in her various hero masks, she is a serial killer who exclusively targets other criminals. She is supposed to be... But... Huh? An ally of justice? So that's why you're wearing a mask. This mask is the dividing line. Just like various idols, the sun is revered because it lies just beyond your grasp. Justice should also be the same. What? I don't get it, but, the but this is hell. becoming really crazy. Yeah. Pekka is the killer. Why is it turning out like this? This is turning out to be a surprising turn of events. <sighs> Monokuma, why are you asleep? Hey, now's not the time for you to be sleeping. Take a look. It's a killer! This again? Huh? Sleep talking? So what's your answer to my previous question? Why did you kill Mahiru? This world must always be bathed in the light of justice. I must not allow even one shadow. Evil must be eliminated immediately. No matter what, I must not overlook evil. Evil? Are you saying Mahiro is... If you knew about that incident, then you must have played the game. Am I right? And because of that, I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island like a sewer rat. Then, the reason you killed Mahiro was... To protect justice, of course. What? In the world? In order to protect justice, I have become its merciless sword and executed justice. Oh, holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath! <laughs> She's so gross! Pekko, this, 
this your true identity? My true identity? <laughs> I have already forgotten who I am. It just shows my determination. My determination to protect by throwing away what's most important. I'm willing to become anybody to shower this world with justice. <laughs> what in the... Oh, I can't stand this anymore. Let's just end this farce already. End it. He's right. This. We need to end this already. The killer in the end. There's no mistake that it was Echo all along. Let's go over this incident one more time and then let's end this. See, I'm surprised they actually gave it to us here. Oh, the candy? The Akani thing is a bluff. That part I do know. Coming into this with not a lot of life points remaining. Aha, okay. Okay, that picture's already used. Sort out to escape. That figure's already used too. He's like hanging on a thread here. Stock four. Oh, final stock, okay. The gummy, okay. Yes, that gummy had to happen. Okay, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. I, I actually... I'm scared, but we might actually have this. Because the gummy drop... is here. Oh, th that was what was left. Okay, cool. The incident began this morning when Mahiru spoke to heal. Mahiru most likely played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, the video game provided to us as the mode. She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Kyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation, and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. However, someone else overheard their exchange. The killer. The killer eavesdropped on their conversation and used their promise to devise a specific murder plan. By preparing a specific item, they plan to manipulate the two's actions. That item was the letters. They sent fake letters to both Mahiru and Hyoko. 
The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. And the letter Hyoko received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. Hyoko totally trusted that letter, showed up at the beach house at 2 p.m., just like it said, and was drugged into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. After putting Hyoko to sleep, the killer immediately hid her inside the closet so they could frame her as the killer later. There's the chloroform I was talking about. Mahiru arrived at the beach house. She was completely unaware that she'd been targeted for murder. Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon, the metal bat that was left at the scene of the crime. The bat was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head, and with that, she took her last breath. According to Mikan's autopsy, Mahiru died instantly, so she probably never knew who killed her. With that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. They dragged Mahiru's body so that it blocked the door leading to the road. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. I'm not really sure why. My guess is it's something similar to a calling card. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. However, by moving Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on them. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. But the killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. They used plastic water bottles that were inside the beach house refrigerator. We can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. In place of showering, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. However, they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Littering is against the rules, and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. After the killer washed off the blood, they hid in a specific spot inside the closet Kyoko was in. The killer hid inside the surfboard case that they had already emptied beforehand. After some time had passed, the sleeping drug used on Hyoko wore off. I can imagine how badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. I mean, she made plans to see Mahiru, who lay dead right in front of her. From the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect, Hyoko fled from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. After Hyoko left, the killer finally came out of the surfboard case and placed a gummy that they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. Ironically, placing that gummy is what helped clear our suspicion toward Hyoko. Finally, the killer began preparing to escape from the beach house. They couldn't risk leaving their footprints in the sand, so they escaped the beach house using a different route, the small window in the shower room. However, that window is rather high up and can't be reached easily, which is why the killer used the bamboo sword they always carry with them. The killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag, tied the bag to the sword's handle, and used the sword as a step stool to reach the small window while holding the sword bag in their hand. As long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. And so the killer left the beach house and appeared before us as if nothing had happened. But their wet hair and swimsuit didn't dry right away. There also weren't any towels at the beach house. So when the killer met up with us, they said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. So how about it? This is the truth behind the incident you caused. Isn't that right, Peko Peko Yama? And what of it? She's like, totally cool with it. I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. What are you saying? You killed Mahiru! 
You should all know that as well. What are you saying? To protect what's most important to you, you must be prepared to throw away something equally important. Understand? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Then I shall be direct. Justice must carry on in order to keep justice. To keep me alive, you all must give up your lives. Are you serious? It's not serious. It's justice! If I fall here, who will combat the evils of this world? Now, follow your hearts of justice that reside within you all, and save my life to protect justice! Hurry, and carry on justice! Give me a break! Who's gonna die for you? If we let Peko go, we're all gonna get killed! For the sake of grand justice, a few sacrifices are unavoidable. A few sacrifices? <laughs> Don't worry. The justice that you give your life to protect will never go to waste. I can't stand her anymore. Let's vote already and execute her. Um, however, before we do that... Lord Akuma, the vote! Hurry up and let us vote already! I'm away! Finally woke up! <laughs> I've heard your story! Well, I wasn't listening, but who cares? Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart pounding excitement! I was absolutely not expecting Pecco, of all people, to be the murderer here. What the... Pardon me, can we please have a little more time? Whoa! Um, pardon me, can we have a little bit more time? Please let us continue our discussion. Continue our discussion? But isn't the voting over? Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is definitely strange. Huh? Strange? What do you mean? There's no doubt that Pecco is the killer. That is true. However... As a serial killer enthusiast, you're wondering if Pecco is really sparkling justice. Am I right? Huh? Hey, Miss Sonia isn't a serial killer enthusiast. She just has a little more passion about them than most. That makes her an enthusiast. Honestly, it felt strange to me too. I mean, there's a distinct difference between what we know about sparkling justice and Petco, right? Uh, a distinct difference? You know, Sonia describes sparkling justice like this. Justice complete. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! What, what the heck was that? That is sparkling justice's catchphrase. An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase. I read it in a magazine in the library. There's only ever been one person, a journalist who was interviewed with sparkling justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. I see. So that's what it was. Think about the difference between. The... I see. That's right. According to what Sonia said, the article was written in their native language, so I tried to translate it. If she had a translator. That means it wasn't written in English, right? Huh? Yes, the magazine I read was written in Spanish. So, Sparkling Justice's catchphrase was no doubt written in Spanish as well. Which means the journalist and Sparkling Justice are both... From Spain? What? 
all this time, I completely misunderstood. When I first heard about the serial killers Genocide Jack and Sparkling Justice, I just assumed both serial killers were from the same country. But that wasn't the case. If so... Echo, you're not Sparkling Justice. There's no way that's possible. Or, if you insist that you're Sparkling Justice, can you try saying that catchphrase in Spanish? Would you be able to do that? Hmm. It appears that the time has come for this mask to come off. However, that's perfectly fine. It's no longer necessary. And even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. My duty has already been finished. My duty as a tool has already been completed in full. Uh-huh. Looks like she's back to normal? That mask has fulfilled its purpose, just as I have. Oh, what do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose too late? What are you getting at? Now that you've already cast your votes is what it means. Hey, be clearer. We're asking you what your purpose was. To murder everyone. I have no purpose. I am just a mere tool. Tool? What do you mean? She called herself a tool, which means someone else used her then? <laughs> of course. A tool cannot do anything on its own. I see. I finally understand. Well, I did have a sneaking suspicion all along. What do you mean? I mean, besides Pekko and Kyoko, someone else was also at the beach house. Someone else? There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. I see! Are you talking about the body discovery announcement? Yep, that's right. I mean, didn't Monokuma say so earlier? So what about this time? Is there three people including Killer or not? Fine, if you want me to say it, it doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. That announcement is made when at least three people discover a body. And in this particular case, the killer, Pekko, is not one of those three. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but... I see. That leaves us one person short. So that means there was one more person in the beach house. Plus... The fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice, for example. No, that's not it. Huh? Am I wrong? Yes. From your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. Didn't I tell you? I'm just a tool. That means I'm just a simple tool to be used by that person. Therefore, that person would have the strongest motive out of anybody else here, right? You're the only one! Is it for your Hiko? I see. Now I finally see the connection. The connection between the motive and the incident. But who dies in this case? Because Peko committed the murder. But Fuyuhiko orchestrated it. But even if it's the motive, it's just a game, right? Would you call a game like that a strong motive? No, the events that occurred in the game should have definitely occurred in real life. There's an overwhelming proof of that, too. I can prove it with this. I didn't think it was necessary to confirm it if it didn't have anything to do with Mahiru's murder, but there's no doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is clear if you saw the ending prize. The photos awarded for beating the game are not actual in-game screenshots. They're all actual photos with the surrounding scenery cropped out. You knew all along, Fuyuhiko, didn't you? 
you knew whether or not the first victim in the game was actually your little sister, right? Because whoever beat the game first will receive the ending prize. Hey, what's with that envelope? What's inside? Shut up! What makes you think that you have any right to question me? It was the envelope, right? The person who received the ending prize. It was you, wasn't it? If you were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. That's why you sent those photos to Mahiru to confirm it. Hey! Why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? Cause... Echo is the killer, right? But we already voted. That's why I told you. You're all too late. As I said before, I existed nothing more than a tool. I had no motive for killing Mahiru. No reason to kill him. Not even the will to kill him. I was simply used as a tool. As long as I am a tool, I cannot defy my orders. Hey, what's going on? Can anyone give me a simpler explanation? I'm just worried that we're all going to die. I'm not the killer. The true killer who used me as their weapon to kill Mahiru Koizumi was Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. What? What the hell? I see. That's what you were aiming for all along. No, I have no aim. But my young master does. My young master planned this from the start. Young master? That is the truth of this case. I'm sure you realize it by now. But it's too late. You cannot undo the vote. That's a problem. If Echo's allegation holds up, that means our vote was incorrect. In that case, the person who gets to live is... Echo! Or no! That's right! That's nuts! No matter how you look at it, that's completely insane! H how would Pekko be a tool in the first place? Pekko is a legitimate human being! Wait, 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 wait! But it, 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 in, a, in a situation of an accomplice, the only per the only the person who committed the murder is seen as blackened. So we're fine. It's not for you to decide. It's for Monokuma. The votes have been cast. All we can do now is wait for oh. Monokuma decides. That's what it that's what it is, right? Only the person who committed the murder can be blackened. What the hell? B. <laughs> that makes more sense.